Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this smooth transition using Filmora 13. This is so simple to create, so let's jump into Filmora and get started. Okay guys, first add your video clips and audio to the timeline. And you need to match those clips to the audio you use. So here I matched my video clips to my audio like this. So after that we need to add movements to these clips. So first I select my first clip, and click this keyframe button to add a keyframe. After that I use the scale and position to create the movements. So here I keep this to default, and move this keyframe to start like this. Then I go to the center of this clip, and I change the scale to something like 200, and I adjust the position like this. Then I go a few seconds forward, and I change the scale to 120, and also I adjust the position like this. Then I bring this keyframe to the clip end. Okay, now our first clip movement is complete. So next we need to add movements to our second clip. So I select here, and add a keyframe like before. Okay, then go to the scale, and I change the scale to something like 200, and I adjust the position to something a little bit side like this, because we need to match this clip position to our previous clip position, and also it gives a smooth look to these kinds of AMV edits. Okay, after that I bring this keyframe to the start, then I select the center of this clip, and go to the scale, then I change the scale to 150, and I adjust the position. So after that we need to make a zoom in movement to his eye. So I select here, and go to the scale, and I increase the scale to 300, then I adjust the position like this. Then I drag this keyframe to the end. Okay now it zoom out, and zoom into his eye like this. So then let's move to our third layer. So I add a keyframe here, and I keep the default settings here. Then go to the center, and I change the scale to something like 120. Then go to the end, and I change it back to 100. Okay guys now it looks like this. So you can see our movements aren't smooth. So let's see how to smooth our movements. So I select my first clip, and go to the keyframe panel. After that select all these middle keyframes, and right click on them. Then apply the curve preset to this. So now it gives smooth curves like this. So let's see how it looks. So now you can see it has a smooth look. So then I do the same thing for my other clips like this. Okay guys now our movement part is complete. So then we need to add transitions between these clips. So go to the transitions, and I select the warp zoom 3 and warp zoom 6 transitions for this. So in here you can see this has a zoom out look. So I add this warp zoom 6 transition to here. Then I change the duration to 10 milliseconds, and here I disable the trimmed frames. Okay, now we have a nice zoom out look like this. So then let's add transition to this part as well. So here you can see this has a zoom in look. So I add this warp zoom 3 transition to here like this. Okay, now our transition part is complete. So let's see how to add the warp look to these transitions. So go to the effects tab, select video effect, select distortion. Then select narrow effect, and add it to the timeline. After that I take 25 frames long part of this layer. Then go to the start, and create a keyframe on percentage. Then I change the percentage to zero. Then go here, and you can adjust this percentage you like. So I change it to 50. Then go to the end, and I change it back to zero. Okay guys now our transition looks like this. So guys I didn't add warp effect here, because I like to add turbulence effect to this part. So let's see how to add turbulence look to this. So go back to the effects tab, and select this distorting mirror 3 effect, and add it to the timeline. So this effect gives a nice turbulence look like this. 
After that I take 25 frames long part of this layer. Okay, then I bring this layer here, and go to the start, create a keyframe on strength, and I keep the strength value to 5. Then go to the end, and change the strength to 0. Then I take a copy of this effect layer, and paste it here. Okay guys now our smooth transition looks like this. So guys finally I will show you how to create this color changing effect. So it's very simple, go to the effects tab, and search hue shift effect. Then add it to the timeline like this. Okay, then go to the effect settings, and you can create a color changing effect using this hue setting. So go to the start, and create a keyframe on hue, and I change it to 0. Then go to the end, and I change it to 100. Okay guys, our smooth transition is done. So here's the result. So guys, that's how we can make a smooth transition inside of Filmora 13. So you can see it's so easy to create. And also you can download this complete project file, link in the description. And also if you need to learn more Filmora tutorials, you can check my Filmora tutorial playlist. I have done so many tutorials about Filmora, you can check that after this video. So guys thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoy this. Also please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next. So let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.